Hey guys, it's Carlos from Spark. So another injury that we uh, hear about commonly are injuries to the uh, digits on the foot and the ankle. And so uh, what I wanted to show you is a couple of techniques that we use to uh, get people on the mat and uh, keep them there, healing and progressing their game, uh, but maintaining uh, healthy healing through a toe or foot injury. All right, guys, so right now we're gonna talk about two different taping techniques uh, for two different injuries or two different setups that uh, occur when we're training. And so uh, what's really cool is that uh, the first bit, you're gonna see that I actually have um, recently injured this toe and then this nail bed uh, by, via the dreaded mat tape. Uh, it doesn't have to be a mat tape injury, but a lot of times you're rolling around, you catch a mat tape and it wants to pull that nail right up, uh, separating the nail from the actual uh, toe. And so what you need to do, unless it's completely ripped off, is support that by taping that down for a couple of days. Um, so what we're gonna do super simply, I'm gonna take this guy, I'm gonna go on the outside, uh, off of the nail itself. I'm not gonna apply a ton of tension, but I do wanna push down, and then I'm gonna come easily, this is sort of basic, right around and support that. So so if I were to hit that mat tape again, this tape is going to support by pushing down, constantly allowing blood to flow and healing to occur. And so I can continue training with this without too much of a problem. I'm not cutting up circulation, okay? But again, I wanna make sure that's nice and firm. Uh, it goes over top of that nail. And so if I were to catch a mat tape or a funny part of somebody's gi, uh, I won't get that nail to separate away again. Uh, it's super painful, uh, can bruise, the nail can die and kind of fall off. Uh, and really limits your ability to plant on that foot. So that's how to fight off the dreaded mat tape injury. Second is if you just sprain any one of these digits. So the uh, joints of the foot are very similar to the joints of the finger in that you have a joint here and a joint here and muscles that pass underneath and alongside. And so if you injure these, the best way to train with this is actually to buddy tape them up. So very simply, again, I'm gonna take my third width diameter, uh, uh, third width uh, length tape, and I'm gonna find that joint, and I'm gonna come over here, and I'm gonna come around, real easy. I'm not adding a ton of tension here. I don't wanna press them together, because I do want them to sort of move independently, but just be supported by one another. You can get fancy and actually put something between the toes that's a little tougher, like maybe a cotton ball or a bit of gauze. Um, but from here, I'll add a second one, really easy. And these don't have to be very long, because usually your toes aren't that far apart. <laughs> and we're going here. Uh, realizing that if, here's an interesting one, if you injure this toe, you want to tape it to the middle toe because it is real hard to wear sandals in the bathroom before you get to the mat if you tape these two toes together. So if you injure this one, you're taping it to here, and if you're injuring this one, you can kind of pick, okay? If you injure your big toe, we're, we have another technique for that. Where we're just gonna go ahead below the joint and support the ligaments here because you only have one of those joints, which is different from these guys that have two. All right, so that's how you uh, address uh, ligament injuries on the toes uh, from overextending or having that toe pulled or getting it caught in someone's gi material, and it's gonna keep you, uh, keep you training and healing real well. All right, go train.